shower in 28 days. And it's fair to say that nobody executes the sponge bath quite the way that I do. I've earned my black belt and a PhD in the ancient art of sponge bathery. Tomorrow's job, bucket laundry. Is my plumbing broken? Is my bathroom being renovated? Have I been out in the forest going through some sort of meditative neo-hippie getting back to nature escape to free the inner wild child of my urban mind? No. This is about me raising my voice, and this is about those who have no choice. And the reason I do this is to make you think how much water was used when you were last at the kitchen sink. And between your ingrained habits and the taxes you pay and the ability of your grandchildren to freely play in a lake devoid of blue-green algae, and between the energy used to pump sacred life into your home through subterranean water highways, between all these things, can you make a link? 25 liters per day is all I'm allowed. I am the calorie counter of the water world, and suddenly I realize with this unstoppable compulsion, and I'm standing on the edge of a crumbling sandstone on the edge of a brink of an OCD chasm, why diets never work. I want to etch on your minds with an water-based water -based ink, and I want you all to be thinking about how much water you use and how much you abuse. I've been labeled alarmist, a hippie, and more. Hell, I've been called an attention-seeking whore. Never underestimate the iron firm grip that some people will maintain to their God-given claim to remain in every which way apathetic. As I'm heating up my bathing water, I can already feel sleek ribbons of cascading warmth to be delivered my trusty, by my trusty yogurt container. This sponge bath is earned and I'll enjoy it more than ever before that I've reached out and turned on the shower dial. Up the stairs and I'm careful not to slop, I can't afford to waste a single drop. Into the bathroom and I'm ready to go with my luxury dose of H2. Oh my God! Tragedy has struck. In my haste, I have stumbled and spilled my bucket. I watch my efforts drain away. Blue gold on porcelain in the bottom of the tub. Down the sewer lane, pretty well unchanged from the freshwater traffic on the intake highway. And as it passes by, it may honk and wave on its way back to the river from whence it came. And now I must go measure out more water and return to the stove with it. The novelty is worn off and I'm over it. Still, I walk down 16 stairs and it sure as hell beats 10 miles. On a sun-baked village from a dusty road, a woman with a jug on her head she goes. And wherever this woman she goes, she walks with her hopes. And she dreams that someone will come help her out. Oh, they'll come all right, and they'll hear her cries, and they'll come with dollar signs in their eyes. Nestle, Thames, Dow, Veolia, Siemens, Suez, and Coca-Cola. Yeah, sure, we'll provide you with water. Everything will be fine. Just sign right here on the dotted line. Once we have you hostage, no chance of dissent. We're going to jack up the rates 400%. Now, the substance that makes up 70% of my body has now become a free market commodity. So tell me, Nestle, when are you going to come claim me? <laughs> Judges.